The Maine Center for Disease Control is now counting 586 confirmed cases of COVID-19 among Maine residents. That is an increase of 26 from yesterday. Among the numbers released today is another death. Now 17 Maine residents have died from the coronavirus. 57 people are currently hospitalized, 20 of them in intensive care. Every county but Piscataquis has at least one confirmed case at this point, and CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah reminds all Mainers to act as though the disease is in your town. 111 people have been hospitalized at some point in the illness. 246 have now recovered. Health officials remain concerned about a hot spot of activity at a congregate congregate living facility in Waldo County, and there are now cases confirmed at a rehab facility in Augusta. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan is here now with more on that. Don? Hi, Pat. That uh, issue still remains the CDC's largest single concern, what the agency calls their top priority, that outbreak at the Tall Pines uh, Senior Living Facility in Belfast, uh, and the numbers, which yesterday were 10 patients and three staff, has nearly doubled today, says Dr. Nirav Shah, and the CDC says it's working with the facility, and the people there are doing all they can to fix this. At present, there are 22 cases of COVID-19 affiliated with individuals at the Tall Pines facility in Waldo County. Yesterday, Maine CDC staff delivered approximately 72 hours worth of PPE to the Tall Pines facility, and we're currently working to pull a larger order to equip the facility for the next several weeks. We've also tested each and every individual in the facility for COVID-19 and are analyzing those results right now. And Dr. Shah said the, uh, that testing that he mentioned is being provided to both patients and staff and that so far 33 people had tested negative for the virus. Now the other outbreak that they're concerned about at a congregate living facility announced today is at an, a, a rehab facility in Augusta where four patients so far have tested positive for the virus. Dr. Shah says the CDC is extensively involved there right now as well working with the facility to take all the possible steps they can to limit the spread of it. We'll have more on this on New Center, Maine at 6. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, Don.